Welcome to Peace on Earth. This is Father Jonathan Meyer. Our gospel passage today is Matthew 9, 35 through 10, verse 8. And this Advent passage ties in beautifully to the Eucharistic revival because it reminds us that we need to be praying for individuals to enter into the work of the Lord. Jesus says, the harvest is abundant, but laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Many of you have probably heard my vocational story, but my great aunt D, which would have been my mother's aunt, began praying for me in perpetual adoration. So at her parish, Our Lady of Sorrows, there was a perpetual adoration chapel and it was an old convent, and they turned the chapel into a place of prayer for 24 hours a day in front of the presence of our Lord in the Most Blessed Sacrament. And she began praying for me that I would become a priest, and she never even told me. And I truly believe that that's why I was able to open my heart, was because of her intercessory prayer. And so I want to encourage you, in the words of our gospel passage today, the harvest is abundant. I think we can all agree that the harvest is abundant. There's a lot of people that need to be saved. There's a lot of people that don't know Jesus. We need a lot of peace in our world. We need people to come to know the gospel. So the harvest is abundant, but laborers are few. Uh, there aren't enough laborers. And so ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Get out a piece of paper today and just sit down and be like, who are people that I believe God might be calling into the ministry? Who are people that I believe that God is calling to be a priest? being a religious sister, to serve uh, at a parish, to serve as a catechist. The harvest is abundant, but laborers are few. Every one of us is called to be an evangelist, by the way. Every one of us is called uh, to preach the gospel. But we also realize that there are certain people that God calls uniquely to live out this ministry uh, in, in a very profound way. We need to pray for those individuals, that they will answer the call, uh, that they will realize that uh, it's a beautiful life for, that they're being invited to live. So I want to encourage you to pray today. Write down those people's names on a prayer card. Put them in your prayer book. Uh, put them on your refrigerator. And just pray a prayer for them every single day. Uh, particularly when it comes to the Eucharist, we need priests to feed us. There's that, there's that phrase, no vocations, no Eucharist, no church. None of us could ever imagine not having the ability to go to Mass or go to confession. And there's some places in our world where that is the case, where I know like in Alaska, there's places where they have mass like once a month and priests literally fly in. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't imagine how that works with baptisms and confession. Like we are so blessed. We are so blessed uh, with the availability of the sacraments. Um, and we can complain about how we don't like things being done, but we are very blessed to have the sacraments that we have, but we want that to continue. And f in fact, how awesome would it be if we, if we as America became like, a place where there are so many vocations that we were sending missionaries to other places. Like, how awesome is that? Like, we have missionaries coming to us from India and from Africa because they have a surplus of vocations. How awesome it would be if that was us. We had a surplus of so many people answering yes that we were sending missionaries out there to celebrate the Eucharist, to absolve sins, and to bring people into communion with the Lord. Let's pray for that grace today. And uh, in doing so, may we find peace on earth. Amen.